I'm Ethan. I work at Icebreakers Uganda, an organization for LGBT people in Uganda. I work as the m and manager. I do a lot of entering data for the clients and also the services we provide to each client, all different clients. And I also go to the outreach with the outreach team. As for me coming out, I might say it was something that it was easy because coming out to my sisters, they knew that I was gay, I was, some, I was, I was different. And sometimes I would be sitting with them, they would be like, yeah, obviously you like sitting among us, why do you do that so much? Uh, sometimes they would say, maybe you're going to become a father, maybe you're going to, be a, you're going to become a father in a different church, or you're going to be going in a, what they are called, if I'm work. Let you go. Ah. But my first time to come out, I came out to my young sister. Uh, uh, discovering myself, I discovered myself in, let me just say, different stages. Because my first time, okay, to have a feelings for the same sex, it was when I was like P3 when I was playing with some guy and the guy came and kissed me and I was at first I was mad but after I was like yeah this guy knows how to kiss yeah, that's something very nice and uh, even when we used to act I would prefer being a woman because of that because the, I know that we are going to do the kissing holding what and what and in P7, I started going to the internet cafe because I started noticing that I'm attracted to men, but I didn't know that I was gay. So I started going to the internet, I typed in the word homosexual, I, kept, like, I got to know what homosexual is all about. Even by then, there was a gay site in Uganda. It was, you, Uganda gay site where you can hook up what and what. I I registered in that. So you know when you are a kid and when you are coming out, you write stupid things on on your wall that I want someone who I can be with. I want someone who I can have sex with. What and what. I believe that God made me who I am. So. Other people say that in the Bible that you don't have to sleep with a man, you have to sleep with a woman. Or to, talking about that God is going, you're going to get, you're, you're not going to heaven. For me, because it took me a year praying, asking God if this is a phase or it's something I'm doing which is wrong, please help me. I forget it so you can hear me. I went to church for that you are praying for that every day, every day, but I didn't change, that means there's something. God made me the way I am, so no one's going to change me, no one's, no one's completely going to change me because this is the way I am, I'm gay and I'm not going to change, I'm not sure to say sure, I'm just always going to be gay. Although people say that the Bible says this or say this, but for me I don't care because we, if God can love me for who I am, so who else do I need? I don't need anyone. I think we should start working. It doesn't matter what job you are doing. Because I have a friend of mine, you know, we know. The guy makes chapati. I wish you can see that guy. That guy is very hot. But he makes chapati and he's, a proud, he's proud of that. But if you tell one guy in the community that you should start a business for chapati, he will be like, hey. Who, you want guys to walk by and see me when I'm uh, frying chapatis. That means I'll, uh, I'll be killing my market. That means. So those are the guys you find. They are still home. They are not doing anything. They are just benefiting on the money they get from different guys.
they think that when you fall in love with the same guy or your fellow guy or fellow woman they know that nothing's going to work out because they will say that you cannot have kids but you can you can have kids there are different methods of having kids nowadays compared to the past whereby you don't even have hope of having any kid that's the that's the main reason because they say i cannot have kids with you another thing it's just that at the end of the day my parents are going to force me to get married and another thing some of us we just love this two three day relationships and we move on up to when are you going to reach 60 when you're still doing the same no because you need to sit down and say this is what i want in all my all of my relationships i've taken like three four years like that i've never been in a relationship for one year or two i've never but breaking up with them it's because of cheating or mostly it's cheating but at the end of the day the guy tells you i love you although i'm cheating around but you should know that at the end of the day you are the one i love for me when i decide to love someone i want you to love me the same way i love you because if you tell me that you are the only person i love although i'm cheating around there i cannot stay with you that means another thing we have in the community is over cheating what's going on in the community first of all we don't want to study we know that everything is going to come on the plate or the big plate because and i'm tired of hearing the word that we cannot do like because you are gay people are going to discriminate you for at your workplace home they're going to chase you from home such stuff that we tend to how can i say it? we tend to take ourselves like that special case we are not special there are those kids who are special who cannot talk who cannot read who cannot do what but we can do everything we want for example you are in school your parents are still paying for your school fees and you just want to come out to them so that you are gay and proud gay what and what we don't want to know about your sexuality we don't want to, we, you just stay in school study work hard like other people because for you getting out from school today and telling your parents that i'm gay so that they they can chase you and you go you come in the community look for money because th you think that there is money in the community there is no money what i would advise there is that we should make sure that the young ones are back to school and we okay because right now i'm old also but i'm, I'm knocking 30 although they say that is a new 20. Uh, when the young ones are coming out we should tell them that the, many, the benefits of coming out the advantages and disadvantages because they don't know that we all look at the sexuality let us come out but to come out for you to come out you have to know your, yourself well because sometimes we start coming out to ourselves first before you come out to